My name is Rajkumar Roy. I'm a professor of competitive design at Cranfield University in UK. And we have just completed CIRP design conference, 19th design conference here at Cranfield. And we are very fortunate to have Professor Daniel Brissot with me here. And we are going to talk about future of design. And future of design in terms of research as well as what's going to happen, how design could really help us in this difficult time, in, in, a, in the time of recession. So I'll be asking question to Professor Daniel Brissot. Okay. Over to you. Thank you very much, Raj, for this uh, question, which is quite important at this time. I, it's a very fascinating period of time for engineers and designers, because we are really at the moment that we have to, to design a new future for our lives. Uh, as you know, we are facing, and the society is facing, uh, big challenges at this time. Mm -hmm. Everybody knew for about the environmental crisis. Yes. That is yeah. very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of things to, to struggle against. And uh, I think that energy, climate change, many things like that, and everybody now is aware of that and knows that it comes, a part of that, comes from products, from the systems uh -huh. we design and manufacture so mm -hmm. far. Mm -hmm. It also comes from the different way of living we decided in the past. And yeah. we know that we have also to move from that. Mm -hmm. But it's not only the, the environmental crisis that now we are facing. It's mm -hmm. also a very financial and economic crisis as sure. well. Yeah. Uh, and it comes at the same time that the environment concerned. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very fascinating because it will motivate a lot of designers and engineers to create new system in which we have to live in. So do you see this difficult time as an opportunity to actually go beyond what we are doing and have a step change mm -hmm. through design? Really, engineers now mm -hmm. are the persons that can solve all this problem or try to solve all this problem, not alone, of course. Huh? Mm -hmm. we, I think we, we will have some point about that, not alone at all, but certainly much more than politicians at this time, because we are developing technologies, we are developing products. Mm -hmm. We used to develop products for the manufacturers, more or less. We know that now we have to develop products for more for consumers, for what the society really wants to have. Sure. And yeah. in this way, it means that the future of our lives will come from, may I say manufacturing, it's certainly not from manufacturing, but part of our quality of, of life will come from engineering at this time. Sure. So what, what you're essentially saying, that in order to really catch up with the change in the society, whether it's coming from economical hardship or our, our interest in environmental protection, we have to do more engineering. Is that what you are suggesting? Mm, more I don't know, but different engineering, it's true. Okay. We need different... We, we, we used to develop products and to put a lot of products in the market. Mm -hmm. um, thinking that more product means high quality of life. It seems that it okay. does not correlate not so true. much, right. no longer at least. Okay. Yeah. And now we have to develop new things, which are not really products or not the same products than before. Mm -hmm. yeah. we, we say in our community, we have to develop product service systems, mm -hmm. really meaning that the product is just part of the whole system that everybody needs. Sure. in their life. I think okay. it's very, very important because mm -hmm. we, we change the focus of the design from the product to the surface, to the people in their life. Sure. But the product, of course, already exists. We will mm -hmm. base our development mm -hmm. on product and on technologies, on new product and new technologies. Mm -hmm. And we will have more IT technologies, of course, in mm -hmm. our life. It's mm -hmm. sure, we don't know why, but it's sure. Mm -hmm. But we are, it, it's interesting because as engineers and designers, we have to contribute to this decision on uh, how much new technologies, nanotechnologies, or 
uh, computer science do we need in our life? We mm -hmm. have to decide. Citizens have to decide, to, yeah. to decide and we have to help them to make this decision by giving all the tools for that. Do you think we are ready to do that, uh, to make that choice? If it means that does the engineering and design community ready to do that? The mm -hmm. answer is yes. No. We are ready, we have already started working like that. Okay. If you say the consumer uh -huh. are ready, mm -hmm. because we need both. Yes, I think we, my we question was more to do with the consumer. Okay. If it's consumer ready. Yeah. I, I think it is. Everybody now is aware of environmental concern. Mm -hmm. Now is aware with how difficult is it to have some companies who are which are really profitable. Mm -hmm. They know that, and I think that now everybody knows that we have to do something. Sure. And we can say that we are ready. Maybe the example: ten years ago, when we started to discuss about this kind of evolution, mm -hmm. everybody said it's impossible with cars because everybody wants to own their own cars. Yeah, it's and that's already the, changing. The, the level of <laughs> responsibility, quality, yeah. everything, mm -hmm. it depends of how long is your car. Mm -hmm. Nobody says so now. That's and true. we are not designing the new car. We are designing the new system of mobility in urban li for urban life. Yes. This time. Yes. Yeah, it's a real change in the focus. Mm -hmm. And I think everybody now is ready to understand that. There will be no car in the future, certainly, in cities. Okay, um, that's a very wishful thinking. And let me now take on, take you on to the next point, which is about future of research in engineering design. Um, you know, we have just completed this conference, which is about research. So what are the key areas you think design research is going in the future? It, this conference was very rich for that. There are plenty of different sessions mm -hmm. and with scientists coming from different disciplines. Mm -hmm. And I think here is the key success of the next research. It will be a really multidisciplinary research. Okay. It is said for maybe 10 years or 20 years that we are running some multidisciplinary research. Mm -hmm. as, you, as you can see, and yeah. as I see, yeah. it's more we are running in parallel different disciplines uh -huh. research. Exactly. Now we have no choice. We have really to confront the different methodology. We have really to confront the knowledge from the different disciplines and, and, and to and work that together. And that mapping is happening now, is beginning to happen, is that correct? Yeah, I think it was clear in this conference. There mm -hmm. were people from management mm -hmm. working with engineers. Yeah. Okay, with engineers and with people from information technology. Yes. All three together. Yeah. Maybe economics, we are not there, mm -hmm. not yet there, I think. Mm -hmm. And sociologists, we are not there. Mm -hmm. Because we have really in research to, to focus more on the consumer, the customer, the user, mm -hmm. people within the system. Mm -hmm. Before it was just a product, and the people has to adapt to the product if you want to, sure. to live more. Now I think people is somewhere in the system we have in, of, to design, you know. And uh, uh, it's a co-creation of the product or mm -hmm. the system with the consumer. And we have to focus more on that. And we need more people coming to, to the engineering field, coming from different disciplines. Yeah. Thank Here you. at Cranfield, in competitive design area, we are very much focusing on future of design in the area of integrating, for example, concepts of economics, you know, we, we talk about cost prediction, which can feed and improve design, not just for the product itself, but through life, improve that, and make it more competitive as a result. We are talking about improving design through variant design, as well as step change through design optimization using high, high performance computing, for example. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you.